Well, the, the expectation is about 10 weeks for that supply to get back to normal. And according to Dad Assembly, 40% of America's baby formula is out of stock right now. So CVS's and Walgreens are trying to curb the shortage by limiting how many, uh, how much baby formula customers can buy. And I did just go into the CVS here and an employee there tells me that they're not out of stock right now, but they are close. Aaron Steining has a brand new baby at home. He came to Meyer with his mom, Judy, hoping to stock up on formula. Way back when, when he was a baby, that was, that was never, there was never a question. You went to the store and you got what you needed. So this is something that we're in the United States. This should not, never be an issue here. In at least eight states, baby formula stock is half what it once was. It's happening because of hiccups in supply chains and a total shutdown of Abbott Nutrition Plant here in Michigan. Lucky for the signings, they got what they needed. It's not just a problem, it's, it's a crisis. And it's a crisis that's only getting worse. This letter from the White House went out on Tuesday. Officials say the FDA is asking stores to cap how much formula each customer can buy. They're also making sure formula is shipped to regions based on demand. In the long term, we need to make sure that we're finding a solution so we're not in this crisis again. U.S. lawmakers plan to hold a hearing later this month to discuss ways to increase production. Alyssa Schmier says the government needs to act fast. The people who are really in a crisis right now are parents who have children who have health issues, um, people who are medically fragile, have digestive issues, people who kind of found this specialized formula that works for their baby and perhaps it's the only formula that is their option. How do we not have a backup plan to make sure that this never happens? Like, what are we going to do to help get our babies fed? Those problems are expected to be discussed at that hearing, which is set to take place on May 25th. And Abbott did make a statement on their website yesterday saying they understand that this problem is urgent and they're hoping to get the Sturgis plant back up and running. Reporting live this morning, I'm Alex Bozarjian for 7 Action News. Uh, yeah, you know, it's not so easy to switch uh, formulas when you have a baby and you know, it's just a real headache for the families. In fact, even more than that, just a real crisis, as the woman said. Thank you so much, Alex.